Take a look at this 20 plus four foot gooseneck equipment hauler trailer that we just picked up for $5,500. She's about 30 years old. Um, we've noticed a couple little things. The axles might have been replaced at some point because so they don't match up. So you can see they're different front and rear and as you'll see on the other side they are um, also different on the other side uh, there's also these legs here these drop down for when you're loading equipment one of them is tied up right now so that'll be an easy fix a couple of trailer lights have broken out this is where the ramps are designed to go in there's some hinges here that need to be replaced so that those stay in the plus four on the beaver tail here, actually this beaver tail will rise up to, to extend the deck an extra four feet, giving you 24 feet of deck space. There's one trailer light missing right now. And as you can see on this other side, the axles do not match up. The other side, they're just slightly different. The back one seems to be maybe stock. The front one might have been replaced. Uh, did get this from like an old farmer, it seemed, in Charlotte, Montana. and So it's, it's had a, a life. Uh, a couple of, of bolts, our lug nuts have, have been, we've noticed are missing. Um, we've noticed a couple of the lug nuts are missing there. These are the heavy duty ramps, come with it. Uh, here's a sticker. Looks like Olsen Trailer Sales in. If you can figure that out, let me know in the comments what that says. I did see a sticker that says that's made in America. Let's see, there's uh, some lettering here. Looks like somebody made a little list for the wire controls, the electrical, the electrical. Connector, seven round plug, seems to have been replaced and is a little cracked. It also looks like there's a battery box for a emergency breakaway electronic controller for the emergency brakes. And it looks like somebody added a spare tire mount as well. This one only has one chain, as opposed to the other one that I've got that has two chains. That's interesting. It does seem to have some nice features, like some of these details, as you can see from the original design. It'd be nice to intricate uh, some of those into our final design. Of course, we've got a mount, a hitch mount. That'll be the first thing to do. It's got nice one inch pockets all the way around and stakes. They're a little bit wobbly. Looks like they've been bumped a couple times as you can see. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good trailer for the price, what I paid for it. There's just a couple little things that I want to fix up, like this here on the trailer jack um, crank there. Also, I've noticed some features that are missing on my other trailer I just got, such as if you notice up here, there's these wedges under this beam here, but then there's a straight weld up through. Whereas on this new trailer I just got in that same area, they've got maybe less of the triangle, but there's a big plate welded over the welds that I was just pointing to you at. So um, that might be something we could add. Probably would reinforce this a little good bit. Another thing that I've noticed is that it doesn't have any kind of box right here. Uh, so a box there, maybe another box up here easy things that I can add. I've got plenty of toolboxes laying around. It does appear to have uh, trailer brakes 
to both the axles. There you can see one of the lug nuts is missing. That should be an easy replacement. But yeah, overall, what do you think? Was it a good buy? Keep watching and see what we do with this.